Hello, I'm the Bowmeister, and welcome to episode one of the Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. We're gonna dive into a new game here. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what? You woke me up. <clears throat> Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? Martin, seven o'clock? How many minutes? Whoa, 55 minutes? I were slept! Hello, sorry to keep you waking. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them, <coughs> <coughs> but we don't know everything about them, about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? And we are going to go ahead and we're just going to call ourselves Silver. Silver. Are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. First things first. Hey, crank that text speed up. All right, we have nothing in our pack. Let's check the computer. So we're turning on the PC. We are gonna withdraw. Nothing, because we don't have anything in the PC. I thought we had had a potion. Can't examine the bed, the radio. Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk, please tune in next time. Pokemon Channel. This is DJ Mary, your co-host. Pokemon, Pokemon Channel. Wow, that was quick. It's a TV. A whole collection of Pokemon picture books. I'm 10, I should be a little bit older than picture books. It's the town map. All right, so we are in New Bark Town. We got Route 29, Cherry Grove City, Route 30, 31, Violet City, the Sprout Tower. Route 32, the Ruins of Elf. Union Cave, Route 33, Azalea Town. Slowpoke Well, the Ilex Forest, Route 34, Goldenrod City, the Radio Tower, Route 35, National Park, 36, 37, Ecrotique, I think that's how that's officially pronounced, the Tin and Burn Towers, 38, 39, Olivine City, the Lighthouse, 40, the Whirl Islands, 41, Cyanwood City, 42, Mount Mortar, Mahogany Town, 43, the Lake of Rage, 44, Ice Path, Blackthorn, Blackthorn City, Dragon's Den, then down Route 45, to the Dark Cave, 46, and the Mysterious Silver Cave. Oh, hi, Mom. Oh, Silver, our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted to do, he said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Receive the Poke Gear. Pokemon Gear, or just Poke Gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? It's a Tuesday. Is, da is it daylight savings time now? 7.58, daylight savings time. Yes. Come home to adjust your clock for daylight savings time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yes. Don't you just turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon. I believe you get this tutorial no matter which way you play it. Our phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose the name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient. Thanks, Mom. I gotta go. And this is... Yo, Silver! I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Yes, we have... This is a new area, Johto, which means a new 
Elm's house. Uh, new to us, Pokemon. And we saw one in the intro video. Hi, Silver. My, ho my husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. <clears throat> That's a dedicated researcher. When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. You dream big, kid. You do. Make us all proud. Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. <sighs> Wish I could be a researcher like him. You could. You very well could. It's all up to you. Wow, your Poke Gear is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? And who is this? So this is the famous Elm Professor Lab. What are you staring at? Yes, she got shoved! Jerk! Silver, there you are! I needed to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. <clears throat> it is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for, par for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. I choose the trash can. The wrapper from the snack Professor L made is in there. Alright, so, as I said in episode 0, which hopefully you guys had caught before I started. Silver, we are ID number 26108. You see our badges there for at least Jono. So, we're gonna pick Totodile, the water Pokemon. Do you want Totodile, the water Pokemon? Yes. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Alright, that's my choice. We're sticking with it. Give a nickname to the Totodile I received. Ooh, I need a nickname for him. First name that popped in my head for some reason is Larry. So he's... So I've got Larry, the Totodile. <coughs> Mr. Pokemon Leader lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. And we got Elm's phone number. Bop. And then we get stopped here. Silver, I want you to have this for your errand. Got a potion. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Crumbling under status, I say. Alright, so let's head out to Route 29. Cherry Grove to Newbark. Let's go ahead and check out our total dial, actually. Larry! Larry is holding a berry. Alright, he's got Larry the Totodile. He's got Scratch and Leer. Oh, he's a decent physical striker, so we'll keep that in mind. Of course, it's, I'm keeping... Uh, Generation 2 has different mechanics for physical special compared to later generations. Because this, this is actually the first generation that the, that the special stat got split between attack and defense, like attack and defense are regular split. All right, Larry. Pokemon hide in the grass. Who knows when they'll pop out? This is true. So, for example, if I had Pokeballs, this would be my encounter. It's a Sentret. Go, Larry. We'll do a quick Pokemon battle here. Because at any time, we can also go heal, so and you're probably going to hear me doing some clicking around, because I want to... I'm pulling out routes, because I... When I did some testing on this earlier, I did this during the daytime, and not necessarily um, during 
like the early morning. Like I did, I did morning testing and I, or I did day testing and I did night testing. So, for example, during the morning in Silver, oh, no, I need to make sure I'm in the right one. There we go. So, I have a chance of catch, I have a better chance of catching Pidgey than I do Centret, but I got a Centret my first go round. Speaking of Pidgey, there's one now. Level 2. And we'll just do a quick scratch on Pidgey Wordle. We'll try to get at least a level 6 before we get off the route here. Just so we can see how, how well the, the level up is here. Did we get... Oh, we did not get enough. Okay. So we'll explore around here. What would you say? Yo, how are your Pokemon? If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the grass. Fitting. Problem is, we have to walk through the we have to walk through the grass in order to get to where we're going because we don't have cut cut cut. As you remember from Generation One, we'll take care of these. These trees here, the little trees. But I will do my best to try and stay out of the grass for right now, at least. He says as he gets into yet another Pokemon battle. It's another Centret, like I said, I was gonna try to get to level six. Da -da -da. I'm just kind of looking at Totodile's moveset, and he's... Totodile's a weird one, but he does hit level 6. Alright, so... Be decent. Can't remember if this is a berry or a Pokeball, and it is another potion. Let's go and use it real quick. So, menu, open, pack. Recovered 16 HP is perfect. By the way, if we look at our pack here, we have various pockets. Uh, so, we have our items pocket, healing items. We got our Pokeballs front and center. Key items will go in the big pocket in the back, and TMHNs will stuff in the little side pocket there. So let's head back out. There's another route up there, but we'll visit that later. I wanted to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. That's smart. I know there's a berry. Berry tree right there. Level three, and we'll visit a Pokemon Center here in a minute. One thing, one thing I do like about the Pokemon HUD bars is that it did add the experience, uh, the experience bar on the bottom. Um, that's a staple for quite some time. I think I don't remember when they get rid of it. I think Gen Eight gets rid of it. Um, primarily Sword and Shield. I don't remember seeing a experience bar in the HUD. But we got a fruit bearing tree containing a berry. Now in Generation 2, or in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I think all these berries become... I think most of these become, uh, apricorns. I'm waiting for Pokemon that appear only at night. His dialogue really doesn't change because he just dis di uh, distinguishes between night and day. It just kind of depends. See those ledges? It's scary to jump off of them. But you can go to New Park without walking through the grass. And that's true, and we'll do that as probably as we come back through. Because we don't want to be too overleveled coming back through the area. If we talk to the old man, he gives us a tour of the area, but 
we can do that ourselves. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. The communi communication center upstairs was just built, but they're still finishing it up. Uh, if you were playing this uh, in the era where you could, you know, link cable your way through it, uh, you won't be able to uh, start trading until after you get uh, the Pokedex. That PC is free for any trainer to use. Okay, good deal. It's great, I can store any number of Pokemon and it's all free. But let's go visit our friendly neighborhood Pokemon Center lady. And we'll get ourselves a nice little heal out of the deal. Thank you for waiting, your Pokemon are fully healed. Sorry. Sorry, I was looking at my phone for a second. People want to talk to me at 8 o'clock in the morning. At the Pokemon Mart, when I was walking the grass, a bug Pokemon poisoned my Pokemon. I just kept going, but then my Pokemon fainted. You should keep an antidote with you, which I will actually plan on doing here in a second. They're fresh out of Pokeballs. When will they get more of them? Probably after we get back. And how may I help you? We are going to go and pick up five antidotes. Because I do believe it is Weedles in Pokemon Silver that we get. You know, between the Caterpie and Weedle. This Pokemon's house is still further up ahead. This is Guy Gent's house. He's the guy who's standing there on the corner. I won't talk to every NPC I'll try to do. Did you talk to the old man by the Pokemon Center? You'll put a map of Johto on your Pokegear. Pokemon gain experience in battle and change their form. Pokemon change? I would be shocked if one did that. Alright, let's talk to Guy Jen. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay, everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I could teach you a few things. Alright, let's go. Okay, then, follow me! This is the Pokemon Center. And they heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is Pokemon Mart. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their, po their prized Pokemon there. And... This is to see, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Which is what we'll eventually have to do for this area. Here. It's my house. Thank you for your company. Let me give you a small gift. And Silver receives a map card. Silver's Pokegear now has a map. Pokegear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Now, if I remember correctly in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, uh, instead of the map card, he gives you the running shoes, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that, though. But hey, we're all, we're all healed up. Let's head to Route 30 and immediately get into a Pokemon encounter. That Pokemon is... Aleniba! This is the first route that gets, like, a super... Yeah, and Pokemon Silver in the morning, Lenibia has a 30% chance of being found. So we'll gladly take it. Because who knows, maybe we'll get maybe we'll get Lenibia when we get our Pokeballs. Poke Pokeballs. But I don't know exactly no I don't actually remember when the morning the day morning cycle cuts if it's 9 or 10. Valeria's up to level 7 and he learns Rage. Cool. So we'll keep that in mind. Daytime has slightly better rocks. Alright, so we get another fruit bearing tree. It's another berry. Berries only restore 10 HP in this game, if I remember correctly. They are nice held items to be had. Well, what do we have here? It's a Weedle. More opportunities to find Weedle than Leti- uh, Ledian. Lediba, excuse me. Ledian is its evolved form. 
That's a string shot. What, what does Ladybug even learn in Generation 2? Ladybug will learn. Ooh, comic punch. But not much else. Definitely more of a like a support kind of Pokemon. Good to know, actually. Oh, hang on. I'll eventually use Rage. I'll probably use it here in a little bit. Alright, like I said, we don't want to train Larry up too terribly much. Because as currently as our only Pokemon, he can become a little OP. So we'll start running from battles. And you think that Nair's probably telling yourself, why are you keeping the random battles in? Because I can. Because you never know when I might want to talk about something during a random battle. Encounter where I don't have to do much thinking other than what move I want to use. But yeah, I found three Weedle compared to one Letty. In, or Letty Bot. I keep calling call it Letty, it's Letty Bot. And Larry's probably going to be the only Pokemon that we'll have at this point. Here we go. Hello, hello, you must be Silver. Professor Elm said you'd be, that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. I have the mystery egg, and I put it in the key pocket. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Aha, so you're Silver. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for that for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw, he saw that you would treat your uh, Pokemon with love and care. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get the Golden Rod for my usual radio show. Silver, I'm counting on you. You're returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. <clears throat> and we got a nice little free heal for Mr. Pokemon. He's depending on us. Let's go. Come on, go. H Hello? Silver, it's a disaster! Uh, uh, it's just terrible! What should I do? It's... Uh, no. Please get back here now! You're depending on a 10-year-old. We're up about 10. You're depending on a 10-year-old to come here and help out with a problem. I at least got a poison gear berry, which will help on this route with all the, uh, Weedles. Because you know we're going to be doing some grinding. Both silver and heart gold, or, you know, both gold silver and heart gold soul silver are kind of notorious for not having very many places to grind. At least grind well, anyway, so... So yeah, it's gonna be an experience, for sure. I probably shouldn't have fought that Ledia. Ledi in, Ledi ba. But. Oh, I can go this other way. Speaking of which. Mr. Pokemon's house is a bit further ahead. Go, Britanna! Tackle! What? This is a big battle! Leave me alone! So you see a nice little battle up there. And then, yep. Now we're just gonna hop a bunch of ledges to get back to Mr. Pope to Mr. to Professor Elm's Mr. Pokemon. We took like one damage, so we won't need to heal. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste to wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. 
Rival time! Meet our rival! Question mark, question mark, question mark. And he has stolen a Chikorita. Our two level higher Larry might have something to say about that. We're gonna use Rage. Start out. Critical hit! I can't remember. We'll use Rage. Chikorita missed! Scratch. Well, that was a critical hit. Let's try Rage again. How do you miss when I use Rage, Chikorita? Just saying. There we go. Rage is building, which means I believe attack increases for Rage. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. Rage is building. Down the Chikorita goes. We'll hit level 8. Almost level 9. And... Hmm, are you happy you won? Not that I had money out of the deal. That's a Pokeball. My name's Question Marks. I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. And shoves me out of the way again. What a jerk. So now we'll hop the route. We'll hop the route things and avoid most of the grass. Not all of it, but most of it. Actually, I think, yeah, no, from planet rate, we can avoid all the grass on Route 29. Going back. Can't avoid it going from. There we go. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information for, for, from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? I'm gonna call him Gold for simplicity's sake. Okay, so Gold was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. I'm gonna name my Pokemon real quick. And now we talk to Elm. Silver, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? I hand it over the mystery egg. This? But, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery! What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Silver, is that true? That, that That's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential people as trainers! Wow, Silver, you may have what it takes to become the champion! You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too! You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge! The closest gym would be the one in Violet City! Silver, the road to the championship will be a long one! Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Okay. Uh, Silver, you see some new Pokedex quest. And I received Pokeball. To add to, the po to add to your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon to get them. And of course, he gave us more than just one Pokeball. He gave us five, which will help. Because we'll burn through two before we get to Cherry Grove. And if we talk to our mom, who's currently raiding the fridge. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? So, you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll do. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money is important. Do you want me to save your money? No. Be careful. Pokemon on your friends, you need to work as a team. Now go on. We can also come back here at any time to talk to our mom about getting money, but money will be a little important. Heading forward. That we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I know that the early early silver is not super thrilling. Because of the whole, hey, you've got, you know, to run back and forth. But now that we got the Pokeballs, we can now have some fun. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start catching Pokemon at the beginning of the next episode. And until then, I am the Bow Maestro as always. I have been Obi doing yours.